Um, okay guys, um, I think it's good morning, uh, well it's it's 2am, okay so I'm just going to make make this video just to um, just to review some things about um, ULI 101, uh, there are some, yeah just to, um, just to reinforce uh, all the things that Mm, I've learned uh, today. Yep, the, yeah, yeah, that's all. So I could just review it uh, before taking an assignment or just a quiz because uh, you know um, our mind is our mind is is, is kind of um, uh, I would say weak. No, not weak. But you know it's it, it's easy to forget some things, right? So okay, um, okay. So the first thing is about um, operating system and what's an operating system? An operating system is like a collection of programs uh, where you can manage files, um, control the start and close programs. You can uh, dis distribute resources like such as um, memory, uh, disk spaces, and etc. and so on. And with that definition, we're going to connect it to Unix. And Unix is an operating system. It has different features um, like it's um, portable, interactive, multitasking, and multi user. So, the first one, well, the second one, uh, I'm just going to focus on three main th things interactive, multitasking, and multi user. So, the first one is interactive why is it interactive easy because when you do an action you see an immediate result the second one is um multitasking why is it multitasking it's multitasking just because you can do you can, well you can do several actions at the same time but not at the same time that's not the correct term it means that um, you can switch between apps uh, rapidly, okay. And the last one is multi-user. Why is it multi-user? Because um, you can you can actually interact with other with other users. You can um, simplify sharing data uh, between uh, people, okay. Okay. And the next thing that uh, it it might be kind of boring, but uh, I don't know. I'm just I'm just reviewing. Okay, <laughs> so um, no, right now we're talking about um, the history of Linux, but before that we're we're going to start with Unix. So once upon a time. Um, Hardware vendors wanted to create a configurable operating system so they could easily adapt. Uh, so, well, so that could be so it could be easily adapt, it could easily adapt um, any hardware or any product without any hassles. Um, yeah like no problem at all you just like you know easy compatibility uh, not compatibility that's not the exact term but like uh, just like changing some things and that's pretty much it to get uh, your product easy to uh, be, s be sold or something like that okay so um, it was a good thing. Uh, it was widely distributed. However, there was one drawback, which is cost. The thing is that 
it costs money so it's not free so you can't copy you can't modify it you can't i mean you can you can use it um but you need some kind of license or something like that so uh some people hated that they wanted to get some um they wanted to get some free uh open source programs or something like that you know uh well in that case unix is an operating system uh, okay so a man called uh richard stallman um, a man called uh richard richard stallman um published or released uh, a GN, GNU manifesto uh, it's a publication um, where he explains why we need uh, an open source free uh, Unix right um, he supported um, well, yeah, he supported a, a, a free Unix OS. He doesn't. He he didn't want. Um, he didn't want restrictions. He didn't want censorship. Just freedom to use uh, the program instead of execute. Uh, instead of getting just an executable file. Okay. So. Um, Um, that prompted people to share uh, and create free uh, free Unix programs, which were um, uh, which well, which anyone could use it, anyone could copy it, and anyone yeah, and everyone could. Um, Everybody, everybody could um, modify it uh, as much as as much as they want. It's pretty much free, but not free like beer, like free like free to use it and stuff like that. You know, right? Okay, but it was only targeted to Unix Unix programs, but not the Unix kernel. The Unix kernel is like uh, like the sister or like a like like a brother. So uh, the Unix kernel is what was connected to the hardware, and but they could but no one could uh, no no one was able to um, create uh, a, a, a free kernel. Just Unix, just free open source uh, Unix programs, okay. So, uh, time passed. As time passed by, a man called Linus Torvalds um, p- created and released his Linux kernel. Um, he he published uh, that that kernel under GPL which is um, general public license uh, the general public license was inside uh, the G the GNU project so uh, he, he, he was like okay guys um, I'm releasing my Linux uh, um, yeah my, my, my Linux kernel use as much as you want Modify it. I don't know. I don't care. Or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> the Linux, the Linux kernel, was different. Uh, yeah, was was different. It, it wasn't Unix kernel at all. However, if you people combine the Linux kernel plus um, the free open source Unix. Uh, programs and plus other components all those three elements created 
a Unix like operating system. It wasn't Unix OS. It was like something a similar operating system. Not not equal but similar. It acted almost the same. And that's how Linux was created. Okay, so hooray and yeah yeah i think that i think that's uh, the part one of the um of the lectures notes uh, there's another part but i'm going to release it uh, in a different video okay bye